Sanctions, actually, were in place long before I came into power. The Labour Party had sanctions. We haven't actually changed the sanctions, Rajiv. It's just a classic buzz from the left. Talk about yeah, sanctions. it does come up. I, I wonder whether we can do bonuses, been, like, every time you go... No, you don't need to. Let me tell you, 75% yeah. of all of those who have been sanctioned yeah. all say it helped them suddenly focus and get on. 75% of those who have been sanctioned. See, even the people in the job centres think it's the right thing to do. It's just, these are political campaigners. You know, they leap up and down on everything. The sanctions thing is the reason why we now have the, the highest employment levels ever in the UK, ever. And more women in work, more and because what we've actually said is, look, we do all the support, but at the end of the day, we expect you to do something for it. Just go back to work, take the job, take the interview. And it works. You talk to any of the advisors in the job centre, it only anyway, clarifies the mind. Passing back the uh, message from Don't the worry, protesters. They did that to me the whole time. If there's any way that we could do These people will as never well. vote for us, okay? Yeah. You've got to understand, no, 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 these that. people hate us. Yes. So when you say them, what is it? They say sanctions. Yeah, sanctions yeah, existed yeah. under the government they supported called yeah. the Labour Party. The yeah. Labour Party had sanctions. This idea we suddenly invented um, sanctions is an absurdity. Yeah. They invented sanctions. We have sanctions. They never come, I don't remember they were on the streets complaining about sanctions in Labour. Or in no, no, no. Exactly right. There's so any way we can have case. some sort of bonuses as well. What we do with the bonuses, you go back to work. I mean, yeah. I don't know what else the bonus would be. You do the right thing, you do the orders, you get back to work. And you'd be surprised. I mean, honestly, the change now in the way that no. it's in the job centres. I mean, yes. people now, we're actually beginning to run out of people to go back into work, uh, you know, in that sense. So it's been a phenomenal yeah. success. Long-term unemployment's gone like that. No, it is. Women's unemployment. It's, it, it's like interesting that. because sometimes for people who are in their fifties, they're having a hard job. Yeah. Yeah. But they're not going to be sanctioned. It's it's you're only sanctioned if you don't comply with the rules. No one yeah. sanctions you if you're not in work. Yeah. No one says to you, you haven't got a job, I'm going to sanction you. We only get sanctioned if you refuse to take things like interviews, if you don't turn up for meetings regularly. No one sanctions on the first time. Mm. You know, every time I look at these cases, it's because the individual has progressively over a period failed to take uh, the right decision. And this helps them. And when they go back into work, certainly life changes. A number of times I have people say that.